Hey, you guys. Um, I'm back. My vacation from treatment was over yesterday. Um, I still have uh, two more scheduled um, high-dose chemo sessions. Well, my first one was yesterday. So 9.30 in the morning, I met with my, um, my chemo oncologist. He's gay. Very handsome. And because of that, he's a little bit snooty, you know, but I bring him right back down to size, baby. Anyway, so I met with him and um, I had a bunch of blood work done the week before and he said everything looked good. He was um, pleased with the fact that I don't have any sores in my mouth and all this weird shit that my ankles aren't swelling, you know, this is like a big, big deal to him. Um, anyway, uh, then after that I met with my, uh, my chemo-oncology nurse who was running me through how this is going to be a little bit different than the regular dose chemo sessions I had while I was doing radiation cuz they can't give you they can't give you what they call a high dose while you're on radiation cuz it's just too much and it'll kill you or something like that so uh they give you a 3 week break from everything and then they put you on high dose which is different in that instead of sitting in a chair for 3 hours getting chemicals pumped into me you sit in a chair for five hours getting chemicals pumped into you. It's really fun. Anyway, so the big deal was that they were saying is uh, the following day, which was today, you have to go in for a shot of Lunasta, maybe it's called. I, I see these commercials on TV where, you know, it's like, after your high dose, do you have to go back the next day just for a shot? Wouldn't you rather be here? And then they show you, like, you're there with your dog on the beach. Like, we all live on the beach. Everybody who has cancer, you know. It says, or, or would you rather spend it here? And then they show a crowded waiting room, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I asked about that, and the doctor said, we only do that if people live, like, really far away or something. I'm like, well, I only live four minutes away, and I didn't want it. I was just curious about it. And he said, yeah, well, the problem is... Um, sometimes it doesn't fire the next day. Like, you know, they put it on when you're done with your chemo and it's supposed to give you a shot the next day. And he said, you know, sometimes they just malfunction. I'm like, that doesn't sound very good. Anyway, so, uh, so my chemo nurse was telling me that she said this shot is probably going to kick your ass because it's trying to replenish all your, um, white blood cells. And it's also trying to get your, your bone marrow going again. Cause I guess this high dose really you know, really uh, sucks. You know, it's a lot of chemicals in your body. It's, it's like fucking with everything. Anyway, so, okay, you know, I have, I, I've already, you know, looked it up online and knew that it wasn't supposed to be fun. And then she said, oh, and I do want to tell you, with the high dose, you will be bald for Christmas. I'm like, you know, okay, it's not like my hair was my crowning glory anyway. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, today I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm going to get a head start on this hair loss thing. So I went in the bathroom and I just uh, took care of it. Why should I wait for cancer to decide when to get rid of my hair? I can, I can decide myself when to get rid of my hair. Oh, and then I remembered um, when I first started radiation in the little dressing room, the changing room where you put on your fabulous gown, there was a box of these little knit hats that some volunteer makes. And so I grabbed the hat. I'm like, hey, it's free, you know. You know I am like... This is the worst. But, <laughs> but anyway, I grabbed a hat. And then all through my, all through my you know, seven weeks of chemo and radiation, I wasn't losing my hair. And I was like, maybe I should bring the hat back in from the car and put it in the basket, you know, because I feel really bad stealing somebody's hat who might need it. But anyway, yeah, so, you know, I got to tell you, I didn't have a lot of hair. But when you shave it all off, your head gets cold. So I've been walking around in this stupid... I feel like, where's Waldo or, so, or something like that? <laughs> anyway, I wanted, to, I wanted to come on and say, hey, the, the, this shot of Lunasta, I had it like seven hours ago, and I'm not feeling all achy and fluish like they told me I would, so maybe I'm going to be as lucky with this as I've been with all the other side effects so far. Um, but I wanted to stop in and say, hey, before it kicks my ass, if it does kick my ass... And um, now I've got another three weeks off before I go back for my final high dose. And, um, and then, I, you know, it's over for three months. Then I get a PET scan every three months to uh, make sure nothing's happening. And um, I'm on my way, kids. I'm on my way. So anyway, um, my next treatment is uh, the week before Christmas. So I will see, be seeing you before the holiday and... 
Loka has been kind of bugging me. She wants to do something. I'm just waiting for my my energy to replenish itself because she's a bit of a task. But um, I'll see you real soon, okay? And like always, thanks for the support here and on Facebook. And if you don't follow me on Facebook, come on, do it. Terry Roth. And um, love you guys, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you. <laughs>